a little bit different before uh, worship this morning. Typically, not really that different, but typically I go into the Psalms and I actually selected a reading from Isaiah this morning. And it's going to be Isaiah uh, chapter 40. And it'll be verses uh, 28 to 31. Not a real long section. You'll notice we've got a few of our folks missing this morning. Uh, Lee Joyce says the, the weather's not good, he's not coming. That's sort of standard practice. Um, but feel free to call and check on those who you're like, huh, wonder where they are, right? Uh, Jim and Wilma have taken off to Florida like several of our other folks have. So just keep in touch. And Roger, it's good to see you back with us. So Isaiah 40, verses 29 to 31. This is out of the New Revised Standard Version. Everybody take a breath. Smile. Act like you're glad to be alive. Oh, you are glad to be alive. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youth will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. All right, let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we rely on you not growing weary. Not growing weary of us. Not growing weary of our resistance to you. Not growing weary of our humanness. We trust that, O oh God. And we need that, just as we need you. We need your power and your strength. We need to be renewed. We just need you, Lord. And that you would be there for us in and through all things, working for your good, working for blessing and life, and that you would find us worthy of working through and with. That's remarkable. that you love us as we are, even as we do grow weary and faint and fall, even as we are weak. We don't have the words for that. We don't have the words for the kind of love that you have for us. We call it grace. but the words aren't enough. Not even grace is enough. We need more words. And maybe we just need to show that love that you give us to others more often and more graciously ourselves. And maybe we need to trust you. that all will be well in all matter of things all will be well 
that we can hold several things together. In reality, yet in hope. <coughs> we would ask that you would continue to be with this body of Christ, to work your way your love and your compassion and your mercy through and in each one of us. That we would be the kind of disciples that you would have us be. And as we try to get there, oh God, may we lean into you and rely on you even more. May we trust you even more. May we trust one another even more. May we look around with a sense of joy and thanksgiving and awe for what you have done, for what you do, and for what we know that you will do into the future. We thank you, our God, for giving us time with you and one another, for calling us together in your name, for hearing the joys and the concerns that lie in our hearts and minds. Hear now, O oh Lord, the voices of your children. And God's people said, Amen. Amen.